Hello guys, this is Par here, and thank you for checking out a new video from me. And as you've probably guessed from this video title, this is an update video with things that are coming to Minecraft console. <laughs> so these, some of these, well, some of these things are definitely come in. So yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys of things that are definitely come in that have definitely been announced and they are coming soon and when they are coming. Also things that will be coming in the future, but uh, no dates are confirmed. And also a few things that have been kind of mentioned but not confirmed, kind of questions and things. So this is all, of course, word of mouth, definitely correct from the words from the mouths of the 4j studio guys themselves at minecon so uh, let's get straight into this guys so first of all the things that we are definitely going to be having and this has been confirmed as coming from the 4th of October so it doesn't probably may not mean that everything's going to be there at that time but from them we'll start to see these new updates and uh, hopefully within you know a couple of weeks we should hopefully have all of them so let's go through so new things that are gonna be on the console console version so of, of course PlayStation's uh, Xbox and Wii U we are gonna get igloos <laughs> so yeah that's gonna be cool we're gonna be able to find those in the snowy biomes and if you're lucky enough you're gonna be able to find a secret laboratory in some of the igloos which could have some uh, interesting things in we are also going to get banners, so that is going to be cool. We're going to get to design our own banners. There are, from the, what they said, there's millions and millions of combinations that you probably could make from them, and it's a, a new kind of crafting system within the crafting menu that we have already. We're going to have beets, so new things to grow, new food resources. That's going to be pretty cool. We are also going to get polar bears, so yes, that is going to be pretty, pretty cool. Um, we're going to have a savannah village, so in the savannah biomes there's going to be villages now, which is pretty cool. We've got a couple of new enchantments coming, so we've got the frost walker enchantment, so that is where you can enchant your boots and you can walk over water because it freezes it when you do it. And also we're going to have the mending enchantment, so that, um, from what I believe, from what I know about it, is that you um, essentially, like for example, if you was using your sword, you would mend it by getting more experience. That's the way I understand it. <laughs> we've got a few new blocks as well coming in. So the new blocks we've got, we've got the end stone bricks. We've got red never bricks. We've got the magma block. We've got fossil blocks coming. Now these are, I never even knew these existed. Um, so from what I've heard of these, these are, you know, you they're quite rare, so you find them deep in mines, and, you know, they basically got fossils in them, so, hmm, don't know too much more on that, but yes, that is coming, and um, also from the blocks, we've got, uh, finally, never warped blocks, so, yeah, interesting, but, and, uh, this is the big one, this is the one that I am most most excited about it, and you'll know why once I've explained it. We are going to have a new mashup pack coming soon. I believe that is going to be from Oct on October the 4th, so uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And that is going to be the Chinese mythology mashup pack, and that looks amazing, looks absolutely epic. So, if you saw my series on the Greek mythology, the taking you know, it's kind of the kind of carrying on that theme of mythology and going with the new one, the Chinese mythology, and the showing of showing videos and clips and things from my at Minecon, and it absolutely looks amazing. It looks so like kind of beautiful. I think they said it took them about you know a lot of people around three months to sort of build it. So yes, I'm really looking forward to that. And also with um, the uh, mashup pack. We obviously we normally get an actual world that we can go into, and we get uh, skin pack and new you know texture packs and things like that. But we're also going to get a new battle map themed around the Chinese mythology thing. So that is going to be pretty cool. And one of the um, things that they have kind of mentioned is that sort of going forward, any new kind of mashup packs and things like that, they've generally hinted at um, you know releasing a battle. Um, 
map for that as well you know that sort of theme so that is something to look forward to so yeah guys there we are they are the things that we are definitely getting on the uh, the next console update which will be from october the 4th and i am so looking forward to it i don't know about you guys but <laughs> i am so so looking forward to it and of course with the chinese mythology that means we'll be doing a new adventure so uh yes we will be getting round to that uh, <laughs> I can't wait for that. So here are a few things that are coming in the future, um, or that they've said that you know they're generally going to be adding in, or they're sort of looking to add in, um, and, you know, and it's things that kind of aren't like unconfirmed or they didn't really have any information on. So things that we can expect in the future then. So more mini games. So yeah, there's, they haven't really given any any kind of clues, but kind of hinted at things that are already out there. I guess on the kind of PC side of it and the um, and the mods and things uh, that people have created. So they could be looking there for inspiration. So yeah, more mini games and of course more maps for the mini games and things like that, especially battle, I guess. Um, so. We haven't got a confirmation definitely on the kind of that 1.9 combat update, you know, that whole sort of thing. However, they have confirmed that they will be adding in the things from that, um, but probably not in one update. It will probably be in different stages and things like that. So things that we can expect to uh, see in the future are, you know, things like end cities. Uh, is it skulkers or shulkers? I can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, the, the mob. Uh... Elytras, so the wings where you can fly, uh, and also possibly, potentially, the whole dual wielding and shields and things like that. And of course, another one, llamas. <laughs> llamas would be awesome. So yeah, they're kind of like the dual wielding and shield thing. They said that it's something they really want to put in and they are working on that. And uh, it's just a case of figuring it out. Obviously, when you're using a controller, you know, you've all the buttons are used up, so they're going to have to obviously figure that out. So, yeah, some really cool things to uh, expect in the future, guys. Maybe, maybe not things until 2017. We never know. We'll obviously just as the updates come along for those. So, <laughs> right. So let's get on to the kind of unconfirmed things. And these are the things that the kind of there were questions to the 4J Studios guys, just to say, will you add this? Will you do this? Blah 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 blah. Uh, so they basically most of the answers were they couldn't confirm anything on it. They couldn't kind of give any information, but they generally said that they would want to do it. You know, there was, they don't see any reason why they wouldn't put it in. It's just a case of, and most of this is a case of, um, you know, how they would configure it and, you know, implement it into the console versions and obviously make sure it can run on all of the consoles and things like that not just you know xbox or playstation you know so things that possibly you know we could expect some well not i wouldn't say expect that we could hope for in the future that 4j want to put in but it's all a case of them figuring it out uh, but not being able to confirm anything you know a yes or no or a maybe even so let's just have a kind of go through the things that were asked so first and for foremost the one that i want the most custom skins um so again this, this sort of it's a it's how they would implement that basically um you know so also uh, realms and slash servers so again it's it's just that kind of how they would figure it out really it's something that they know people want uh and you know they were obviously visiting it now and again the idea of it and hopefully uh you know we may see that um in the future uh, things like map download, so people, you know, creating maps and then putting them up for download so that people can do that. Uh, again, like I say, the answer to all of these was basically like uh, they'll just have to completely figure out how they're going to do it for the consoles because I can imagine obviously it's a lot easier to do on the PC. It's kind of built in that way for for that to happen. Uh, consoles is obviously going to be a lot different, but to be honest, you know, we've seen a lot of games. Um, where you know people can create custom maps and things like that and just put them available and uh, you know people just kind of click and download them onto their uh, playstation or well console so you know I, I that one is one i would say if they look towards other well inspiration from other games and other kind of developers they may be able to figure that one out 
maybe a bit quicker, a bit easier than the other things. And uh, so sort of finally on that was the kind of question about cross-platform. So basically people on Xbox being able to play with people on PlayStation, um, you know, on the Wii U as well, of course. Uh, even Pocket Edition and the PC versions of Minecraft. So, again, that's. I think the answer to that was they said they basically literally have to get everyone involved in Minecraft on the different platforms. So, the, the Minecraft PC guys, the Xbox guys, PlayStation guys, Wii U guys, and, you know, obviously Pocket Edition. Uh, all together to kind of figure out a plan if that was ever going to come into place but you know some really cool kind of things that were asked and uh, you know and it's clearly things there uh, in that section there of um, things that people want and they know that 4J have said we know that people want these things <laughs> we know they want them and they're definitely not ruling out anything they never they didn't say no that's not coming to console or anything like that they just basically said it would be great to do, uh, it's just a case of how we do it, how can we get that available on console, they have to figure those details out, so, whew, so yeah, really, really, really awesome news, especially the things that we are definitely getting in the next update, and then like I say, the things that we are um, come to expect in future updates um, and they kind of said like basically a lot of the things that are in the kind of you know Java uh, vanilla Minecraft um, you know the general updates that there have been they will be you know in general coming to console over time and there's no reason for that it's just the things the the additional things like say like custom skins and uh, servers, realms, um, maps, uh, mods, and things like that. You know, they kind of said in the cult, kind of the mod side of it. They kind of said, "Well, we're we're doing that their own thing," as in, you know, when they're releasing kind of worlds and texture packs and things like that, and um, things like you know, obviously like the mini games and things. So that's the kind of their versions of that. I mean, there could be. I, I can't imagine there being. You know, where anyone can kind of create it like they would on the PC and then it gets available it'll all be done via 4J Studio so they'll probably take inspiration from mo um, mods that are out there and make the console kind of versions of those if, you know if if possible uh, a, w a really good one you know a good example would be the uh, shaders mod that would be that would be pretty awesome but again it's just the how it's going to perform on uh, on console versions so guys, um, yeah, <laughs> I can't say enough how much I'm excited. I've, I've literally, I'm literally recording this video practically after seeing, watching um, the live stream at Minecon of the 4J Studios panel. I, was, I basically had a pen and paper ready to note down everything so I knew what it was and I was like I need to make a video while it's fresh in my mind I need to make a video on this so uh, that's what I'm doing now I'm, I'm making this it's probably like, what about uh, let me just quickly check the time uh, it's nearly uh, two o'clock in the morning <laughs> so guys I want to hear your feedback your thoughts on uh, you know this news this awesome amazing news of what is definitely coming from october the 4th and the things that we can expect in the future and just the general things um you know the unconfirmed things so leave me some comments below let me know what you are mostly excited to see uh, as you've probably uh, been able to tell my most most thing <laughs> the the thing that I'm most excited about is the Chinese mythology pack because that means a new adventure which is going to be amazing but of course I am still really excited about all the other things that are going to be added in as well guys so please do uh, hit that like button if you have liked this uh, video and if you are new to the channel then please do subscribe to show your support and for all upcoming videos so I want to say to you, thank you very much for watching and listening. <laughs> and I'm going to say bye-bye for now. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later.